welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Deadhead here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Toba. And Bitter Betty Carol, left with an E. Uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to uh, react to um, give me less, uh, yeah. wait, gimmick less reaction um reactions i will i will link him yeah. in the description uh he actually him and tova actually did a collab together on her channel so y'all need to go check that out i will i will link yeah. that also in the description uh i introduced him to falling in reverse for the first time yes i'm pretty he, sure he's a fan now and because they actually well, then your guys are welcome because <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know. Carol introduced tova to falling in reverse i already knew who falling, falling in reverse was well, I mean, I knew who they were. I just had never listened to their music. And I mean, but Carol was my initial guide. Yeah. Uh, but to they, navigate. And then I just went ham. Well, this And then now she's going to a concert without me. I'm just saying. Well, Tova will tell <laughs> if me. You if you lived in Texas, I'd be taking you. Tova, tell me if I'm wrong on this or not. But she kind of got gimmick to change his way of thinking about Tom. A little bit. I feel. I feel like. I feel like I've had an impact for sure. Like, I, at least he knows that he's not like a one trick pony. You know what I mean? A lot of people think he only does political music and that he can only do one style. And I think the songs he's done more recently have proved that he is not that way. Yeah. And, and I, I hope that this second disc shows him that Tom can be very lethal with his tongue when he wants to be. Yes, he can be very sharp so. verbally. Verbally leave. Yeah. yeah, this is the Not second disc. Well, we we already that. know that that we already know who won that one, but that's our opinion. <laughs> yeah. Right. So oh, yeah. let's I, let, let's see what our friend has to say. Yeah. Right. Gimmick list. If you don't like this, I'm roasting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's wrap o'clock. It's wrap o'clock. All right. Say. So I just covered the old uh, Tom and Mac Lethal beef. And I think that right now where I am in the beef, right after Mac Lethal's this, I think he's winning. I think that he killed him with that response. I know his production quality isn't as high and stuff like that. And everyone told me that Tom killed him in the long run. So let's see what happens here. But um, I definitely think at this point in time, if it was right when Mac Lethal just dropped, that he was on top at this in that point in the battle all right damn i wish i could see my audio levels oh yeah let me just say this just because i don't like tom's political views it doesn't mean i hate him or anything like that i think that tom is a really good rapper and i'm actually a fan i just disagree with some of the stuff he says and i think that some of his moves are goofy but well, yeah. i love his moves He's got goofy moves, but we like oh it. My I, yes, I I love it. The the <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I love it. Oh, my God. Tower beats on the track. Listen, I think I can hear it. Mac Lethal is hyping himself in the mirror. His wife tries to tell him that she's getting curious. He just yells, Shut the fuck up, Mrs. Tom Guy's serious. I hoped you would kill it. I'm always an optimist. Thought your response would be flawless and awesome. It's got to be hard finding time to perfect all your rhymes every night at Narcotics Anonymous. Hi, oh. Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm not all right. <clears throat> well, that was dope. And I already like the... Uh, He's kind of controlling the narrative and the energy in this. Mac Lethal is hyping himself in the mirror. His wife tries to tell him that she's getting curious. He just yells, Shut the fuck up, this is Tom Guy serious. I hoped you would kill it. I'm always an optimist. I he said yelling at his wife, Shut the fuck up, this Tom Guy serious. That's funny. <laughs> your response would be flawless and awesome. It's got to be hard finding time to perfect all your rhymes every night at Narcotics Anonymous. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. That's dope. That was dope. But doesn't isn't Tom in recovery, too? Not saying this out of it doesn't bounds. matter, it's a dis battle. Um, they might have different addictions too. Yeah, it'd be hard finding time to perfect all your rhymes every night at Narcotics yeah, oh, Anonymous. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm not even trying. You don't scare me at all. If you did a drive by, I'd wave. It's so cute. When you rap. <laughs> it's like I'm watching my dad trying to use an iPad. You should just give it back. You've been sober like eight years. You're the type of guy who can't have a beer, have a single drink, and need to get some coke and probably suck a dick for a painkiller. You party animal, you bad boy. You're a crazy. Son of a gun. All that karate and still you're a pussy. You tap on my shoulder and run. Where are you going? I'm over here in a house that you can't. <laughs> All right, that was <coughs> savage. He said that karate uh, is jujitsu, I believe, but I mean, saying karate <laughs> makes it 
funnier, right? Like little kids in the, <laughs> their damn. I'm so glad he's getting with it. With the little white yeah. belts and shit. It, the visual is funny. Which actually, yeah. in jujitsu, they wear geese. So pretty good. Even funnier with the connection there. Dick for a painkiller, dad. China use. He said, "You remind me of my dad." Dave, hi Dave. I'm not even trying. You don't scare me at all. If you did a drive by, I'd wait. Again, excellent syllable manipulation. Tom is great at this. The he did rhymed Dave and Ing, so he manipulated the I in trying to trying. It's so cute when you rap. It's like I'm watching my dad trying to use an iPad. You, you should just, just give it back. You've been sober like eight years. You're the type of guy who can't have a beer, have a single drink, and need to get some coke and probably suck a dick for a painkiller. You party animal, you bad boy. You're <laughs> he said, You party animal, you bad boy. <laughs> I love Tom's humor so much. I do too. Crazy son of a gun. All that karate and still you're a pussy You tap on my shoulder and run Where are you going? I'm over here in a house that you can't afford with your career Got your own pool, kids in private school You the fucking mother of the year You keep talking millions, I googled your wealth You are. He said <laughs> He said uh, You're the mother of the year, that's good Worth two, Dave. I am worth twelve. You're tweeting at YouTube. Somebody help with my monetized videos, Dave. That's a tell. Broken, ugly, short, and stubby. Forty, the fucking mother of the year. You keep talking millions. I googled your wealth. You are worth two, Dave. I am worth twelve. You're tweeting at YouTube. Somebody help with my monetized videos, Dave. That's a tell. Broken, ugly, short, and stubby. Forty something with a face that was born for punching that cuff. But I know at your core it's muffins. The type to wife up the first horror. Fuck the big bad. Damn. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> yeah. He said. He said inside your. What muffin? Dude, somebody help with my monetized videos, Dave. That's a tell. Broken, ugly, short, and stubby, forty something with a face that was born for punching that tough. But I know at your courts, muffins, the type to wife up the first horror. Fuck the big bad Dave. Got the Ellen Co sign. Cool. Try to ride that wave. The Hollywood sign. Fool. You were so excited just to get invited. He's refreshing white and couldn't cheese enough. You said, I love rap because it's counterculture, Dave. Counterculture is who beats you up. My future uh has Grammys. Your future is handies from Tammy imagining. All right. I, that was that punch was kind of weak. The counterculture is who beats yeah. you up for sure. I, I mean, he's referring to himself, I'm assuming, but a lot of those, the back to back, uh, 40 somethings off his muffins thing, the, those little punches in that fast scheme hit harder than the guy who beats you up. Baddies and nasty pajamas and transplanting hair to your head from your fanny. I saw you doing teeth commercials. Do it after right. Dave. I don't need to hit you up. My future has Grammys. Your future is handies from Tammy imagining baddies and nasty pajamas and transplanting hair to your head from your fanny. I saw you doing teeth commercials. Do actor damn. Dave. I don't need rehearsals. I'll piss in your mouth till you wheeze and gurgle. The stomp on your head till your cheeks are purple. I was a wrestler. I wore spandex. You were a customer. You did Xanax. I'll take you in your book by the ear and then smash you together like Stone Cold's beer. Being a fucking loser's in your DNA. Yeah. This ain't a punchline. It's a PSA. The chromosomes <laughs> from your mom pa create retards and they name them Dave. Nobody's safe. The wife you to chain up her legs, remove all her eggs, put them in bags, and then knock them away in the safe and send it away on a plane i'm lucky that i know cpr my girl heard you this and she died laughing she was bummed we waited like a week and then she went right back into minecraft my girl was on def jam bro yeah he's getting them she's saying so much more <laughs> your girl look like death fam she did uh, mac came at him like it was a live battle right like yeah he came at him like it was a live battle so it was more like control the narrative do the rebuttals and stuff like that but like on wax you can you got a lot of room to really pack stuff in there Grim Reaper, new at spit, be on pod, create retards, and they name him Dave. Nobody's safe, the wifey to chain up her legs, remove all her eggs, put them in bags, and then knock them away in the safe and send it away on a plane. I'm lucky that I know CPR. My girl heard you this, and she died laughing. She was born, uh, waited like a week, and then she went right back into Minecraft. My girl was on Death Jam. Your girl looked like Death Fam. She the Grim Reaper, new at spit ether. She collecting the soul of a dead dad. They're gonna need a whole family in confidence when you crisp and warm to solve all your problems. The shame and embarrassment. All of the comments from fans you had. I saw it, you lost them. Ain't dropped the album. <laughs> people People told me <laughs> that I need to research who Chris Benoit was and they picked Not up people this me. Punch. Maybe there's more to the scheme. Well maybe people. But, maybe uh, people. I definitely told him that. I mean it was it was pretty good. But uh, I think there were good. better punchlines that came before that.
The main reason why I rewind. think that is because uh, Chris Benoit had <laughs> CTE. It is a it is a degenerative disease in the brain that is caused from a lot of head trauma. Uh, they did an old movie about it with Will Smith called Concussion. Uh, a lot of NFL players sure. suffer from it, and a lot of uh, boxers yes. suffer from it. It literally causes people to do crazy, violent, outlandish things. Like I said, there's a whole movie on it. So, to me, it just didn't land with Mac because I don't think that he would qualify. For- it comes from a really rare condition that affects athletes. Nothing to do with actual feelings based on people around you or their situation. Just head trauma. And, ironically, Tom was the one that did professional wrestling. So it just didn't track for me. Yeah, and then the saying okay, that he's going to kill, kill people. Okay, so the reason, okay, I don't know. I don't know what he's not hearing, but that is the dopest bar ever. I fucking love that bar. But also, it's not It's it's not about a literal sense, right? Like, no. Tom doesn't mean he has something that would make him do that. He's saying that, like, he's going to do it because he, he's, like, seeking out fame so bad that he's, you know, going to end up breaking or whatever. Uh, but I was going to say something else and now I can't remember what it was. So y'all say something. Oh no, that's what, exactly what I was getting at was that yeah. wasn't the point. The point wasn't that he was saying that yeah. he has such a thing and try to make the correlation. Yeah. Tom was a wrestler. So he's using, reusing wrestling right. bars. Right. Because he, he had the, yeah. You know, well, pressure oh. head together like Stone Cold's beer. Like he was meant to keep with the wrestling scheme right. throughout, yes. and that was just one of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay, and you know, he made a comment about how you know um, Max was more like live, liveish. You know, like yeah. battle, like, like battle rap. Yeah, like he didn't have a lot of. T- he had plenty of time to think about it before he responded. He had a whole week. No, well, to be honest, he didn't have to write it in a week. He could have wrote it whenever or not write it at all. He made that decision. Or yeah, rumor well, has it like, he had help writing it. Just saying. Oh, I think I think we have confirmation on that one. But. <laughs> Look, I'm keeping it as rumors. I didn't see it. <laughs> well, whoever helped him didn't even get facts straight. So go back and watch that and get to know Tom and then come back and listen to Max real quick and realize that there's a lot that he said that's not even even facts. Yeah, it actually I mean, make him so well, bad. It, so well, I'm, I'm very biased. Right, I'm biased because I love Tom. Right, right. Well, when I look at us, but <laughs> when I look at Mac Lethal's diss, he had some great punch lines. Right, that were there. But because one of the big things about battle rap is like it doesn't have to be true, right? But you have right. to make it. That's appear. literally what I was gonna say. Flood yeah. said it the best. I love his reaction yeah. the most of anybody's ever. And it, it doesn't have to be true. It just has to sound true. Sound true. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? So it doesn't necessarily matter. And so, but I think that's what he like, and maybe because I guess, uh, who is it? He said, he said he is a fan of Mac Lethal. Yeah. He, he, reps. See, he, yeah. He said that in the first one. Yeah. I'm actually yeah, learning so a, lot, in, a lot more about battle rap. So yeah. we covered, you know, Ren and, and Dada, and then we covered yeah. Dada and Knox, and then the, the freaking up church shit going on. Like, I've been learning a lot more about battle rap, but I still don't know a lot about it. So, yeah. Well, cause, me. <laughs> because battle rap is actually, di- like, so we've been listening to a lot of diss tracks, mm-hmm. which yeah. a lot of battle rappers are good at diss tracks because it's coming right. up with punchlines or different things. But they actually are almost like battle rap itself is like a sport. Like, yeah. Um. To and, and it's quick thinking right now, right? Yeah, You're like right on front eight of your mile. Opponent. Right. I got you. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, then, so like this. Then even Mac didn't do battle rap. He did a diss in in a week. Well, yeah, Mac he, he used a, to do battle rap. Yes. He okay. was a battle rapper. He was a battle but, rapper. So he treated a diss track as a battle. As rap, a battle. And that's where yes. he went wrong. Okay. Yes. I got you. Right. Yes. I get that. Yeah. Now. And yes. so, but Tom. <laughs> took straight diss track and that's what it is is to i mean the, there is no limits right there is no necessarily crossing a line when it's a diss track you're trying to literally say shitty things about someone else right but that's right. also why he doesn't do this anymore yeah so, right yeah he, but he uh, but if you even if you take out the benoit bar right tom still had a shit ton more like punch oh lines yeah than that. Like triple the amount. I mean, if you're in so, the, if you're in Tom's Discord, you know all about Hi Dave, Hi Dave, Hi Dave. <laughs> I did, I did. It's a it's an actual thing that we do with it. It is a hundred percent a thing. So, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, right, the I'm the one who has to push play. I forgot. He was unsuccessful, <laughs> but then he also said he was worth $2 million earlier. Although he is worth much more than Mac is. It just it just didn't land for me, guys. Sorry. You're going to need a no, whole family of copies. You need Ben Wam to solve all your problems. The shame and embarrassment. No, I'll let your comments from fans oh, you yeah. had. I saw it. You lost them. Ain't yeah. dropped an album in four years, dog. Rapping is your hobby. My career, less than a year. 20,000 physical copies. I have millions of streams. I'm living your dream. You're a yeah, glorified YouTuber. Look like a meme. Go to Stupid Extremes. Definition to try hard. Watch me rap after eating a Tide Pod. Dying for attention. That's <laughs> why you started this little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that. That was harder than the Chris Benoit line to me. Really? It's more personal. And based in reality, because uh, how is that more does, personal? Like, yeah, he interacts with he his crowd. He told old dude he was gonna kill himself and his whole family. Yeah, it's pretty damn yeah. personal. That's pretty personal. That's cool. Super personal. Well, because like, I, mean, I mean, if I'm, memory... I wish he would have rewound it. I think he missed like exactly like how it was presented, like because he didn't rewind that portion. Of yeah, very of possibly, that. like you know, yeah. Uh, I know that in the first, I think it was the first disc that Tom actually talked about how you, I, I lost my train of thought. ADHD moment. Yeah. I know. It's, dude, the squirrels are for real. But, you know, I will say that I don't, it's it's okay that that we don't agree. Correct. Um, like, it's it's his, he's entitled to, to interpret yeah, it and course. feel however he wants to feel. But I just, because now we're friends, I have to roast him and give him shit as much as humanly possible otherwise what kind of friend would i be you know what i mean <laughs> so but especially because i know tom won this i know i know i know well, all things. i know people that i have a magic eight ball i know people that are not even tom fans that listen to it and think tom won it dude tom won this 100 percent. so but it's okay if he ends up disagreeing and nobody no, go for him in his comment no, section no, or no don't do that. that yeah don't do that because no. he's, he's entitled to his own opinion yeah. we don't have to agree he's, nah, he's, he's cool one of the dude. cool ones guys yeah he's one of the cool ones all right we don't have it. to agree to be friends <laughs> no 100 <laughs> percent. that'd be boring yep all right let's go uh subs which is great he creates a connection with them but he also does this back and forth where he does like i know like parlor tricks like he he uh inhale oxygen and then see how rap he, how long he can rap or he'll have people send in stuff and then he'll do it like that i understand i get what he's saying that's that was very clever and it's <coughs> close to reality you're so desperate to spec games i'm living your dream you're a glorified youtuber look like a meme go to stupid extremes definition to try hard watch me rap after eating a tide pod dying for attention that's why you started this little beef you're so desperate to expect that right after this ends your sex day probably leaked you've been on ellen and rogan why aren't you a star here let me tell you it is in the bars it's the way that you look it's the way that you are nobody cares about your music no more dog you do impressions you rap in 20 again <clears throat> bars and more Nobody bars. No one listens to your music anymore. It, <clears throat> Tom is excellent at syllable manipulation. Um, very little Wayne esque. He styles and he think it's flexing. I got a question. Why you gotta pretend to be everyone else to resemble impressive? I killed you already. This don't need a sequel. I'm honestly bored with this shit. Why you gotta be everyone else to resemble impressive? Damn. Art. Dog, you do impressions. You rapping 20 styles and you think it's flexing. I got a question. Why you got to pretend to be everyone else to resemble impressive? I killed you already. This don't need a sequel. I'm honestly bored with this shit. Feels like I'm kicking the corpse's shoes. You can't afford to feel horrible doing you like this. How many rappers wrote your response? This is great. This is good. This is good. He controlled the whole narrative, the pacing, and the whole laid back approach. Come on. It, I'm Tom one. You guys are absolutely right. Yay! Yay! Victory! I killed you already. This don't need a sequel. I'm honestly bored with this shit. Feels like I'm kicking the corpse's shoes you can't afford. Feel horrible doing you like this. How many rap? Feel like I'm kicking your corpse and shoes you can't afford. Feel horrible doing you like this. Oh, how did he make that? Like <laughs> stack Tom's up perfectly. Thing. That's Tom's thing. <laughs> because Tom is Monday, not to be trifled with. Credit. I know you sent texts. I saw with my eyes. I know no, what you said. They've read, read it. You a real piece of shit. Not like a real piece of shit. Like if a piece of shit ate a piece of shit and took a pee and shit, you're that piece of shit. I'm on like five minutes. Shit, let me see. You were canceled and fired from MTV. The network wanted something fresh and clean. I bet any day they'll be calling me. You left rhyme stairs because you had to. You didn't walk away. It wasn't something you planned, dude. Got lost in the drugs in the whirlwind. Caught pants down with another man's girlfriend. Piece part. of shit. Not like a real. Damn. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, it got bad. <laughs> Daddy, don't be calling me. You left rhyme stairs because you had to. You didn't walk away. It wasn't something you planned, dude. Got lost in the drugs in the world when caught pants down with another man's girlfriend. Piece of shit. Not like a real piece of shit. Like if a piece of shit fucked a piece of shit and got an STD, you're that piece of shit. You got a pet bird, but you never Brilliant. thought you'd be dead first. I'ma put you both in the oven when you get burned. I'ma put you both in a pet urn. Piss into the bottle, mix it up, and turn the ash into plaster. <laughs> Give it to you. needs to hear disgusting. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Dude, his mind he would did be... a crazy scheme switch here. <laughs> I didn't need to study. Fuck the piece of shit and got an STD. You're that piece of shit. You got a pet bird, but you never thought you'd be dead first. I'ma put you both in the oven when you get burned. I'ma. Okay, dead bird get first, oven get burned. How does he switch it to plaster? Put you both in a pet urn, piss into the bottle, mix it up, and turn he the ash into it. plaster. It went. He just, he just <laughs> dropped the whole scheme and just rhymed the A in plaster with the A in ash. Clever. Sounded great, too. Give it to your bitch. Tell her make statues of me just to capture my win. My girl will just spit in her face and will dip it first. I'm going to put you both in the oven when you get burned. I'm going to put you both in a pet urn. Piss into the bottle, mix it up, and turn the ash into plaster. Give it to your bitch. Tell her make statues of me just to capture my win. My girl will just spit in her face and will dip. Get a hammer and come back and smash it to bits. Put a plaque in its place so that no one forgets that your biggest mistake was as good as it gets for a guy whose career doesn't even exist. It's the peak of the mountain for you. This is it. Your aesthetic is pathetic. You don't get it. I'm prophetic. Your rapathetics are boring. Fuck a Guinness World Record. Be careful where you are headed. I'm cemented as a legend. David Sheldon severed that does that be the evidence? Every room here. Uh -huh. All right, Tom. <laughs> this shit is fire. <laughs> this shit is Yay! fire. Yeah, girl, I'll always be the God damn. Oh you. My for God. You. This is it. Your aesthetic is pathetic. You don't get it. I'm so your aesthetic excited. is pathetic. You don't get it. I'm pathetic. Your rapathetics are boring. Fucking Guinness World Record. Be careful where you are headed. I'm cemented as a legend. David Sheldon Severn. That does that be the evidence? Every room here. Yeah, I will always be the elephant. While you try to fit this capital L into development, you dead in and I send a letter to heaven that explodes when I open. So I hope it gets your attention. He said, "Every room that you enter, and I'll be the elephant." Yeah. Kind of like Benzino, like his whole entire uh, career is everywhere he goes. People are still asking him about Eminem 20 years later, and he revived it and screwed himself even more. Broke down crying on a podcast the other day. I can smell it. Although I don't know if Max got affected that bad by it, but people said he quit rapping, which normally when people say that, I take it with a grain of salt, but. Go look at his page. Bro. Uh, someone who I know for sure he actually put out like one song follows, a year later follows and it was music horrible. told me that, so I'm likely to believe it more. You sweating in this 11 11 legend David Sheldon Sever that is asking to be the evidence. Every room you ever enter, I will always be the elephant. While you try to fit this capital L into development, you dead in the land and I sign a letter to heaven that explains you try to shit straight, man. I can smell Why you try to fit this capital L into development? Cold. That you sweating in this 11 11. I make a wish that when you die, you come back to be the evidence. Every room you ever enter, I will always be the elephant. While you try to fit this capital L into development, you dead in the land and I sign a letter to heaven that explodes when I open, so I hope it gets your attention. I can smell it. You sweating in this 11 11. I make a wish that when you die, you come back resurrected so I can kill you again and again and again for the record. If you're feeling kind of froggy and you jump, you get the second. Oh dear, I can't believe I had to set this. <laughs> because most people dissect frogs for like their first thing in class for sure. So I hope it gets your attention. I can smell it, you sweat. Yeah, I need to hear this letter to heaven bar. Headed, I'm cemented as a legend. David Sheldon severed that is that's me. Every room you ever enter, I will always be the elephant. While you try to fit this capital L into development, you dead in the land and I send a letter to heaven that explodes when I open. So I hope it gets your attention. I can smell it, you sweat in this 11 okay. 11. I make a wish that when you die, you come back resurrected so I can kill you again and again and again for the record. If you're feeling kind of froggy and you jump, you get dissected. Oh dear, I can't believe I had to set this shit straight, man. Old ears, I hope you hear exactly what I say, man. I'm here. You said you didn't even know my name, dog. So here, I'll say it so you don't forget it, gang. It's Tom McDonald, oh, bitch. bitch. <laughs> yeah. I love that he ended Yeah, that was fire. <sighs> that was bananas. Especially the fast rapping. I like how he did that. Hit him with his own joint. <clears throat> Hit him with his own yes. joint. See, we can Yay, all still be friends. I'm just joking. joking. Winner, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Word, I word. like being right. All right, y'all. We'd still like, like you. Right. Peace. Look, he did the same thing we do. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just, just so everyone knows, there think. is a Tom McDonald playlist that I'll link. To. Oh, I told him about playlist. Yeah. Please. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. I'm all about that playlist life. Yes, me too. We got. Well, that was fun. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh and my you know, god. I've actually watched some of his other reactions too, like to Tom. Yeah. And, um, you know, to me, he's always been himself, right? So, like, whether oh, yeah. or not...
he agreed with something or didn't agree with something. He has said even multiple times, like even when he didn't agree, that Tom can rap. Yeah. Like oh, that yeah, wasn't yeah. it. It was just the message yeah. that he didn't always follow with. But you know what? I don't agree with every single thing that right. Tom says right. or Adam says yeah. or like my favorite rapper say. I don't agree right. with everything, you know, but it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy the music. And it, yeah. I probably would even rap along with it, even if I don't necessarily <laughs> agree with it. It's well, just because it's Tom. I think that's what I like the most about him is that we could have a conversation like, and like, I'm so used to being attacked from people who are, you know, not, like liberals that I just automatically go on the defensive, but you know, he was like really chill and cool. And that's how we ended up like, you know, connecting right. and, and starting the collab and stuff, you know, cause we're trying to help like react the reactor community in general. Right. Like, I, right. Absolutely. We want to lift are. each other up. And, uh, but I, and I but I had been watching his reactions way before like I had watched a ton of them you know what I mean he was always very fair uh and was never like it's okay to disagree just don't trash someone because you happen to disagree like correct without recognizing the talent you yeah, know what I mean just because we don't like we, it's one of us maybe just one of us in the whole group that we, there's three of us and we all have different brains uh, yeah. Just because one of us or even two of us don't care for a particular band doesn't mean that the other one doesn't. Pay attention. Listen yeah. to their, what we're what we're saying. Don't skip through the video. I mean, because you, you, we all have, we're just we're different, you know. And yeah, and we're not going to ever be rude to, about a band and be hateful toward them either, even if we don't no. care for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but and we're but we're definitely not going to fake it and lie either. No, correct. You know what absolutely I mean? like, not. I won't. And if you don't like that, I can appreciate for you. <laughs> I have an appreciation for music in general, even if it's not something I would typically listen to. I will enjoy it while I'm listening to it, same, uh, because I appreciate music in, in all its forms. And I will I just find like music in general. something about the band somewhere that I do like. I look for something yeah, I like for sure. It's um, because we go in looking to to like it and not to hate it, right? Like right, we're absolutely. we're not going into yeah. something to be like, what can I pick apart? Like that's not the point. Yeah. Like the the thing is, is my face is always a tell tall if I if if I don't like something, yeah, you know. And my right. faces often make deadhead laugh, like because <laughs> I all the time. <laughs> it's like, I got, I got a funny true. face. Your sorry. facial expressions are freaking hilarious. Like <laughs> so, sometimes I can't help it, and so it's written all over my face. So if I don't like something, you generally will know. Um, but I mean, I try not. You know, I, I'm not going to bash anybody. And I think that Gimmickless did a great job. Yes, he did. Um, and I do like his channel. So make sure you go over there and, and like, comment, you know, and follow subscribe him, him, like him, yeah. you know. I was actually really impressed with how many bars he actually caught. Like, I don't know if he had pulled up the lyrics or if he was doing that just off the top. But, like, he caught a I lot of things. A lot of people for it. No, I think he well, he's, an he's an artist himself. He actually let me hear, like, a song that he did. And he's actually really good. Like, yeah. I wonder yeah. if you'd let us react to it. See, and like I said in the um, in, while we were watching it, though, I really wish that Tom would do a video to disgusting just so that he could hear it without buying the CD right now because he probably oh, not gonna buy. Know. He's probably not gonna buy a Tom CD. I mean, I don't know. I could be. I might be surprised, but yeah, he might. Who knows? That's a good one though. <laughs> it's yeah. one of my favorites. No, yeah. There's like so. There's so many. Like bite my tongue is one of my favorites, uh, which. You actually can hear on Tom's channel. It's a, it was a promo video. It only is two verses of the song. It's missing the middle verse, but it's dope. Yes. Uh, that's one of my favorite. There's so much good music on the CDs. Like, Yes. So if you guys want to catch, yeah. if you guys want to catch and don't have it, hangovergang.com. Yes. You can so call that hangovergang.com so that we're talking about. Gimmick. You know, that's the thing is that Tom's best songs are not even on his channel. No. Mm -mm. No, my favorite song by Tom McDonald is not. Um, and it's also not a political song. My favorite song of Tom McDonald's is not a political song, and it has not been released to the public other than on one of his CDs. It's not to any any platform, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, yeah. And it, my favorite song is, um, and it's probably literally probably my favorite song, and it's Average Boy. That's oh, my favorite I song. love that. Oh. Hey, hey, wait, Tom did um, say that. Uh, he's, Tom said he told me in, in the chat one day that he was thinking about making uh, a video for that song. I would love it if he made a video for that song. Yeah, dude, that is I like love, my, that's a great song. 
that song show like it literally humbles you as a person to know that tom's a person yeah like yeah and, and that and i love that freaking song like it's probably my favorite song and it it just i don't know and oh, it's yeah. hard for me to have a favorite but I, that's probably one I like go that's through my moments goal. After I go through moments of picking a favorite, but right now it's disgusting. It's the thing that I listen to almost every day. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, God, I don't even know if I could pick like a favorite. My favorite uh, video. It's hard. Is, so. My favorite video is best rapper ever. That's definitely one of my favorite videos. Like, well, not just like Max is up there. His uh, <laughs> his like mental health struggles like are very similar to my own but like in a different way right like mm -hmm. i'm i don't deal with the same type but like it's the same emotion i don't right. know i don't know if that makes any sense but uh that's why i love popular monster so much because like that song is literally how i feel like, comment, <laughs> like subscribe <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next one 